Hi everyone. Have you guys seen enough tools yet? Uh, so I thought that I would uh, construct this presentation a little bit differently. Um, we are going to talk about a tool, uh, but I promise that's not me. Um, so first off, we're going to talk about multimodal AI agents. So this is going to be a little bit more technical than some of the other presentations, but I promise you it's all well-intentioned. But first, I'd like to think that you guys want to know who it is that you're talking to or who is speaking at you, right? Uh, so that's me, Brennan Woodruff. I was 20 pounds lighter back then because founder time adds some weight. Uh, I'm a Hoosier, so if there's any Hoosiers in the crowd, uh, go Hoosiers. Our basketball team sucks this year, but that's okay. I spent my time cutting my teeth in KPMG's deal advisory group doing cross-border M&A at KPMG. And that took a very long UberX from New York out to San Francisco to work for Uber. We want self-flying, self-driving, bikes, scooters. We even helped them do... Uh, decent size IPO. I then went to the only place crazier than that, which was SoftBank's vision funds. We deployed about $50 billion across a summer. I would not recommend that pace to anyone. You can't make good investments. It also kills your people. And is why I did the only thing crazier than that, which is join a pre-product, pre-revenue startup called GoCharlie. Joined in January 2022, and we're going to talk a little bit about what that is today. But first, I have a question for you guys today. What would you do if you had an extra week a month? Anyone want to yell something out? Who wants to be a brave soul? Sleep. Sleep, I like that. This man's after my own heart. Anybody else? Travel, Travel. like that one. Anyone else? Maybe you uh, grab your broomstick and you go play sports with your friends. Or uh, maybe you read those books that you've been meaning to. I have a huge stack at my house of every book that I hear about on a podcast and just never gets read. Maybe we actually have time to do that now. Maybe you learn to cook with your favorite celebrity. Uh, personally, I'd love to cook Christmas dinner with Brad Pitt, but maybe that's just me. Or maybe you're going to go after me and you're just going to spend some time sitting at the beach. But how do we get that extra week back? Well, spoiler alert, it's AI agents. All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about what are AI agents, but we're not talking about these agents. You've seen The Matrix. They're not after you. They're not trying to put you back in the source code. That is not what we are here to do today. We're here to talk about these agents. Cute, cuddly, fun, and your new AI teammate. So AI agents is a complex term. There's going to be a bunch of people that argue about the definition. The way to think about AI agents is teammates. Now, why a teammate, right? So they need onboarding. They're only as effective as you make them. Give them the right information. But then... They know how to use tools, right? They help your work move faster. They can work autonomously. That's a huge one. You don't want your teammate to not be able to do things when you're not looking. But most importantly, they won't gossip about you or have fake sick deadlines. But what makes a great teammate? It's knowledge of you and your domain. Think about this as knowledge of your files, your data, your company's mission, your company's vision, and what you aim to do, what your goals are, but then also an understanding of the domain in which you operate. The second piece is knowing and using tools. I'm pretty sure that's not the proper way to use a printer, but Charlie will find a way to use it. Third aspect of a great teammate is learning over time. Most AI tools say they will learn you over time. Ours actually does it, and we're going to show you how. But then fourth is it can run on your own. Autonomy is a big thing about how a teammate can deliver value and be great for your team. So these multimodal AI agents are going to be your next teammate. But what are the components of this? So apologies for those that aren't too technical in the crowd. This is the one time we will touch the tip of being super technical. But think about these components as your teammate. At its core is a large language model. For those that aren't familiar with that term, ChatGBT at its back end originally was one language model. We're talking about domain-specific LLMs, which are small enough to not break your bank, but powerful enough to get the job done. So that's at the core. But then the second aspect is the multimodal model. If you don't know what multimodal means, think about this as adding senses and abilities to have perception and observe things. 
We're actually working on developing a multimodal model with SRI International, same guys that built Siri. This is adding vision, adding reading, adding listening, all into one model. And then lastly, probably the most important for you guys is a cognitive agent. This is the brain. It's a little bit different architecture in AI, but it's where you see the tools that can be utilized, the ability to reason, the ability to plan, the ability to understand what it is you're actually saying and turn that into action. So what's possible with an AI teammate like this? I'm gonna read this because I know it's probably a little small for people, but research the latest news about generative AI. Summarize this into bullet points. Create a blog, a newsletter for my subscribers, and a post for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn with a funny meme for each post. I almost ran out of breath just saying all that. I can tell you right now, that typical task has taken weeks for some of our customers to get it right, to get it precise, and get it done. All you have to do is feed that one prompt into Charlie, and it'll do it in a matter of seconds. This is what we're talking about. This is how you get that week back. Now, we've built Charlie in that specific mindset of delivering that teammate, that dream experience, that week that you want back every single month. So at its core is a memory vault. This memory vault, similar to the vault that we have downstairs below us in this beautiful Hibernia building, is a vault for all of your information. The information about your company, your goals, your data, your team, what you're aiming to do, your product offering, that knowledge base that lives in Charlie's brain. The second piece that we've added to this teammate is the ability to start from anywhere. So you can start from text, you can start from images, you can start from video, you can start from audio, you can start from a link, you can start from multiple links, you can start from files. Inspiration comes from weird places. You should not be limited by where it comes from to have your teammate be successful. The third aspect of this is what we call project in a prompt. That prompt that we did on the last page was very extensive. You can do all of that in one prompt and we're gonna show you a couple examples of it in a second. But then lastly, this is all powered by Charlie One. Charlie One is a first of its kind, uncensored large language model that is now available for commercial use. This means that the AI model will not resist your requests, will not require you to tip $200 to get something done, but also allows you the control to ultimately have the AI tell whatever it is that your story is. Now, these are just some of the use cases that are possible. I know this might be small for the people in the back, but they really fall into four categories right now. One is create. So think about uh, creating text, creating imagery, creating audio, creating video. But then the second area is repurpose. So think about anything to anything. We started about starting anywhere. Well, we want to go anywhere. So that's what the repurpose area is for. Analyze. Think about this as being able to upload your data, upload your files, and have the AI specifically answer questions or derive insights from that information. How many times have you gotten this big Excel file and you have no idea what you're supposed to do with the thing or no idea what the main points are? Well, Charlie can help you do that. Lastly is the research capability. We're gonna talk about some of these, but we find that research is not just finding a bunch of links. It's about deriving insights. It's about telling stories. And so we've given you the ability to have malleable research as part of your product experience. But I figured it's a little bit more fun to take Charlie for a walk. Now, I have some personal uh, experience with this particular venue from my time with the Guardsmen, for anyone that's familiar. Uh, so I knew that Wi-Fi wasn't gonna work. So we're gonna do a little bit less of a live demo and more of a discussion here today. So first is you can have an unlimited competitive research uh, teammate. So this is just a simple prompt. My client's Coca-Cola, research the latest advertising news about Pepsi this week and summarize it into a report. We work with a lot of agencies. Many agencies, this is actually a workflow that they perform on a weekly basis and send it to their client. This is now done in two seconds in, and in a format that you can just forward on to your client. Boom, three hours saved right there. But then you can have a teammate for unlimited proposals. You're a high growth operation. You wanna make lots and lots of proposals. You wanna do those more and more. More shots on goal means more revenue. So what we've introduced is you can combine the web scraping tools with Charlie's knowledge of you, knowledge of your services, and even knowledge of your hourly rate, and make this proposal in a few seconds. That means hundreds to thousands of proposals every month going out. Estimated time savings for this task, five hours. So then, let's do something that's a little bit more, let's call it resource intensive. Anyone in here that works in SEO or is familiar with SEO or blog writing understands that there is a very complex task. 
AI and blog writing tools are a dime a dozen, but all of them make you do way more work than what you probably should. So with Charlie, what we've done is we've embedded that workflow in the back end. So Charlie uses a SERP analysis. It uses an understanding of SEO. It uses an understanding of the proper keywords. It does web research. It fact checks. All of that is in the background. You don't have to touch it. Simply does this in 30 seconds. We're talking a fully optimized blog about the AI user conference, talking about 10xing productivity. Estimated time savings for this output is 10 hours. But then let's have a little bit more fun. Let's be a little bit more visual, shall we? So one of the most annoying things that I've had is that AI image generation is not in the aspect ratio that it needs to be. If you are in marketing, you know that having the right aspect ratio means a difference in engagement, it means a difference in the algorithm liking you and not. So for every major social media platform or publishing platform, we have those aspect ratios already built in to the creation engine. And you can do it at scale. This is just a fun one to keep it fun with dogs but we also are showing here that we have an image editing suite that takes you the final step. No one wants to go to an AI image creation tool and then have to go to Canva or another tool. Sorry, Canva guys, I love you. Uh, have to go to those tools just to finish out what you're trying to do, right? So we've embedded all of that into the AI as well. Estimated time savings here is about six hours. But then what about presentations, right? So I had to make this presentation, which spoiler alert, Charlie was a huge part of this. So Charlie helped me build this presentation, helped me think about different ideas and approaches I had for it. Well, if I want to come back next year, I simply upload this presentation to Charlie, have Charlie scan it and propose an outline for what he thinks the presentation should be next year, all in a matter of seconds. It took me 10 hours to actually plan this presentation, so this was something that Charlie can actually do fairly quickly. But then the last one I think is the most fun, right? So what about bulk content creation? and multi-platform content creation. I was the first marketing person on my team. We, have, uh, we had a four-person founding team. Three of them were technical. I was the only non-technical. And let me tell you, I was a finance guy, not a marketing guy. It's been learned over time. But the most painful thing that I had to deal with was telling that same message across every platform we wanted to resonate on. So I'd have to take that Facebook message and put it on Instagram. I'd have to take that Instagram message, put it on Twitter. I'd have to take that and put it on LinkedIn. Well, with this workflow, you can just do it all at once. So I actually recorded a product video walkthrough. Oop. Oop. Sorry. I actually recorded a, a, a walkthrough of a new product release. And so every time that we release a new product feature, I just simply take that YouTube video link, throw it into the mixer, and I have it create all of the content that we want to go out for that specific feature. This used to take me 40 hours to do before we release this feature, to tell that message across each platform. Not only that, but Charlie is trained to each platform's best rules for engaging, best rules for content structure, and best rules for tonality, all in consideration of all the information that you've already given Charlie. So, what are our customers seeing? We were saving 17 grand a year on average for our customers. We're seeing a 100% increase in writing output, a 40% increase in clients served for our average agencies, and then most importantly, the metric I'm proudest about is 25% reduction in employee churn. And specifically noted is AI being available for them to do their work. The biggest detriment to our employees being successful is not the fact that we're not training them properly. It's not giving them the right tools to be successful. Not so dissimilar to how you make an AI teammate successful. So we've seen that people are able to be more productive, deliver more clients, deliver more revenue, and ultimately drive that to the bottom line. So where does this take us in the future? I'll end on this one, but basically the spoiler word is that AI agents will start to work together. I'm going to be one of the few people that's going to sit here and tell you that AI agents are not going to replace white collar workers. There's too much nuance that happens in the workplace right now for that to happen. Where I think we're going is an AI agent for every team in your organization with a domain specific language model, a multimodal model to perceive what's necessary, and ultimately a cognitive model to start coordinating across these multiple agents. So with that, let's talk about how we can save you guys a week a month. Scan this, schedule some time with me, but most importantly, I wanna thank the AI User Group Conference for uh, having us out here today, and I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation.